Hello, my crafty friends. This is Teresa with Fresh and Renewed with Teresa, and I am back today for a not too shabby video slash blog inspiration. This will be going up on the blog as soon as I get it to Jamie and she gets it up. And so I just wanted to show you the cards that I made today. I am using pumpkin marshmallow and this is the slimline paper pad that came in the August box of the month. And this paper pad is still available. Now I did use the ephemera. The ephemera is not still available. I'm pretty sure that it is sold out. But if you did get the box of the month, this could be some inspiration. If not, you could use another stamped image or, or something that you have. So for the blog, and for this, I used the sketch for this month and I have a fun little twist for it. Because the paper, slimline paper pad is three and a half by eight and a half. Yep, that's, that's the dimensions of it. Three and a half by eight and a half. I felt like, well, I had too much white space kind of, you know, to just use one panel. So I kind of used two and kind of, since the, the sketch did have two, two layered, layered pieces, so I kind of did them wobbly. Well, they're not wobbly, but I kind of did them wonky and then put my two strips here, put my focal point here, and I popped up these two pieces of ephemera. So that is card number one. And I used the blanket and the, the um, with the, the, the little blanket one. And then the little squirrel says fall. Then for this one, I used a couple of different pieces. And then I used the books with the cup and the, and the little acorn. And then I did finish them off inside with a narrow little strip because I cut these wrong to begin with. I cut two, my strips were too narrow and then I had to go back and cut some more and put that, that little heart ephemera piece on the inside. And I did the same on the inside of this one. So those are the two cards for the blog post inspiration and for not too shabby day today. Then, when I made all these two cards, I had some pieces left over. I had this, this size piece was like three and a half by three and a half. And then this size piece, I trimmed it down a little bit to go to fit in the center of that and then um, finished off the inside of these. So these are three little square cards and these will be going up on the, the I am also on the There's a Stamp for That Challenge um, Facebook group. I am on that design team. So these three cards are for my design team post for tomorrow. So you get a sneak peek at them because these will be going up on that Facebook group to tomorrow and these two are here and they will go up on the blog probably tomorrow probably tomorrow because I'll get that to Jamie tonight the blog post so thank you so much for watching I know this was a short and quick video but um and I put these cards together very quickly this afternoon and so thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video bye